Welcome back. So today we're going to look at upgrading IMC 5.1 SP1 to the brand new IMC 5.2 platform and modules. So the first thing we're going to do is back up your current installation. Always a best practice. Back up before you make changes. Then we're going to install and deploy the HP IMC 5.2 platform. And then we're going to install and deploy the desired modules. Let's take a look. So as you can see here, I've uh, already downloaded all the packages that we need. Um, everything's prepared on the desktop. That's always a good idea. So you can see the version we're going from here is IMC Platform 5.1 SP1. Right? You can see we've got a few different modules here, UAM, EAD, SHM, APM. So we're going to have to take care of those as well during the upgrade process. So I have already taken the liberty to uh, go through and make sure that everything is in a folder here called 5.2 Unpacked. Um, we're going to go into the IMC Platform Enterprise because that's what I'm running. Go into the install directory and the first thing we're going to do is click on Backup. So this is going to allow us to back up the current installation and, and make sure that if anything goes wrong we can always recover. Always a best practice. So we're going to go to the desktop here. Uh, in my case, I don't have shared storage that this is attached to, but uh, probably a good idea to make sure that you actually put this off box in case you have any catastrophic OS failures or any of that bad stuff happens. Uh, I'm sure your, your upgrade will go just as great as mine did, though. So now that we've selected the appropriate directory, we click on the Start button, and as you can see, IMC is stopping related processes, and we're going to wait. Through the wondering of video editing, we're going to speed this up just a little bit. And you can see now we're backing up the databases. That is completed to prevent data loss or inconsistency. Make sure you back up or recover all data for, for the distributed IMC platform and components. Do you want to continue? So what this error message is saying is if you've got a distributed IMC on multiple boxes, you need to make sure that we, you get the databases from those as well. Um, in my case, I've got a centralized deployment. So I'm not too worried about that. Backup completed. Click close to exit. We're going to click close. And there we go. So automatically after doing the backup, this will launch into the install process. So the components choose folder here will go. We're going to go browse. We're going to go back to that 5.2 directory. Enterprise. Windows install. Now that we're here, we're just going to click OK and the install process will do its magic. We click Next, we click Accept, Next. So now IMC is going to go through and check the components and make sure that this is actually a legal upgrade. Um, it's always a good idea to check the release notes. That will have the install processes to say what version to what version um, upgrades are supported. So again, now that we've uh, clicked OK, it's going to stop IMC-related processes. We're going to wait for that to uh, finish itself off here. Copying files. Unzipping the files. Now we're going to check the installed components again. And there we go. Component version, description about to install. So we've got all the different component versions for the platform here. You can see IMC Platform 5.2, EO401. So we're going to click Next. So this is the part where you read the messages. This is really important. So what this message is telling us is the version of the following components are not compatible with new IMC Platform. Do not start IMC until all components have been upgraded. This is critical. You could have a component data lost if you don't follow this. So this is giving us a little list of the applications that we saw before, the modules. So I'm going to open up Notepad here and make some good notes just to ensure that I do get all the modules. We'll drag this down. And as we can see, we've got Application Management, or APM. I've got SHM, Service Health Manager. WSM, Wireless Service Manager. 
and UAM, the user access manager. So those are the modules that I have currently installed that are not compatible with 5.2. And again, for the compatibility matrix, you can see the readme file. Right, you've got some other information here that uh, pertains to distributed deployments. Um, if you are not planning to upgrade the component, do not upgrade the platform. If you want to upgrade anyways, uninstall the component first. This is important or you may lose data. So please read the error messages or, or the uh, informational messages, as it were, and, and follow them. They are, uh, there's a reason we put them in there. So now that we've installed the base platform, we're going to do the batch upgrade and make sure that all the components of the base platform are up to the 5.2 level. And again, through the uh, wonder of movie magic, we will enhance this and not have you watch the, uh, the time frame. And there we go. Batch upgrade succeeded. Click OK. So now we're going to go install. Um, I've moved the window up so I can tell I've got APM, SHM, and WSM, and UAM to install. So now we're going to go browse to where I've already downloaded and unpacked um, all those modules. right? So for me, I put them all in the 5.2 unpack directory. I'm going to go look for APM. You can see i got a couple versions here. Um, this one's going to fail, and I want to show you guys what this looks like. So I've chosen the uh, 5.2 APM version that is H02. So H02 designates a hotfix. Um, as you can see, we don't have the ability to upgrade it because we need to have the base module in there first. So if you ever see an H, um, make sure that you're running the appropriate version first. Right? So you can see at the bottom here, components, dependencies, checking failed, application management. So we're going to go back, find the EO401. That would be the, uh, the base version of APM that we need to have. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK. So this is a supported upgrade from 5.1 SP1 to 5.2. So as we're about to see in a second, there we go. Component version is fine. For this install, we're going to actually say deploy or upgrade later. So rather than do the installs um, one at a time, what I'm going to do is, or the deployments one at a time, um, I'm going to install all the packages for the modules that we want to upgrade. And then we're going to do a batch deploy and do it all at the same time. Um, how you want to do it is really up to you. Both are supported. Uh, this just is a little quicker for me, and I trust the process. I've done this a couple times, as you can imagine. So we did APM. Now we're going to do the APM. Um, now we're going to do the SHM first. SHM, Windows. And again, pay attention, you've got the Linux directory as well. We need to make sure we're on the right platform. Navigate to the components. There we go. Click OK. Next. Accept. Next. Those are the two components. Deploy or upgrade later. Install. Install other IMC components. So we have done APM and SHM. So WSM will be next on our list. We're going to go browse. Up to the root. Find the WSM version. There we go. EO401. Install components. Click OK. Click Next. Accept. about to install, deploy or upgrade later. So the next one is going to be a little more interesting. So as we, uh, as, as you guys are um, getting familiar, there is certain dependencies between modules and platform. There are also dependencies between certain modules and other modules. So as the 5.2 version of the platform must match the 5.2 version of the modules, in some cases, as with what we're about to see, 
modules need to match as well. So when we go to install UAM, there we go. This is the user access manager. This is the new BYOD features that are coming out in uh, 5.2. Great stuff. Look for a video soon on that. I'm going to click next and we're going to go do that dependencies check again. There we go. This is valid to upgrade. Oh, look at this. So we actually had EAD installed. EAD must match the component of UAM. So it's UAM is a prerequisite for EAD. So now we know that we have to add ERD, EAD to the list of modules that we do need to upgrade. So I knew that in advance. So what I've done is I've already pre-unpacked it. We'll add EAD to our, our little checklist here. It's always a good idea to have a track record of any changes that you're making to the system. So the install process finishes. Now we're going to install other IMC components. We're going to navigate to the EAD directory. Make sure that those components match as well. So we're going to browse. This should be familiar at this point. Up to the 5.2 unpacked. Go find EAD. EAD. Install. The components directory is there. Click OK. Click Next, click Accept. There we go. So for this one, we're going to select the Deploy or Upgrade at once. Now that we've got all the modules installed um, that we want to have installed, we can do a batch upgrade. So you can see everything is already selected here. And we're going to click on OK. And now IMC is going to go and upgrade all the deployed modules and get everything up to 5.2. So get you access to all the wonderful new functionality that we've put in. So there we go. Batch upgrade succeeded. And we are good to go. So now all that we have to do is click on the OK button here. We can now check the Deploy tab and you can see here that EO401 5.2 is just about everywhere. So we're good there. So now we're going to go back over to the monitor here and now that everything is upgraded we're going to click Start and IMC is going to go through and start all those processes and give us access to the all the new and wonderful features that the uh, HP team has brought you. So there we are. Looks like everything is just about ready. Service started. All the auto starting processes in localhost have started. And that's about it. Now it's time to log in and enjoy all the new features. See you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.